We like to do some science experiments for these celebrations. Yes. yes. Especially for the big 100. So nice. Love a good yeah. project. So this is going to teach us about clouds and precipitation. It's called the shaving cream cloud. All you need is a jar of water, some shaving cream, and some food coloring. So we're going to shake up our shaving cream, okay. put a pretty thin layer on top so not, of not our much. jar. Yeah, not, not a like whole that. lot. Don't get, don't get carried away. <laughs> there you go. Like that. That's good. Yep. Okay. All right. Now watch it perfect like a cupcake. Here comes Jody. <laughs> well, now you got me nervous. <laughs> so okay. even right now, we have a little bit of a teachable moment that the shaving cream is kind of forming a flat bottom here. Mm -hmm. So when you see clouds form, especially in the summertime, they have a flat bottom. Then they bubble up from that point. It's right. called the lifting condensation level. And it depends on the day, the atmospheric uh, properties with moisture and temperature content where those clouds form the cloud base the and that's usually Just remember that okay, flat right. so Got we're going to add a couple of drops of food coloring to our our shaving cream cloud the, the, the key is a couple drops yep. just like right in the middle of the the happy cloud yep okay. so we're going to wait but nothing much is going to happen here because yep. our cloud is not saturated it doesn't yeah. have enough moisture in order to get the food coloring to come down and precipitate from our cloud. So we're going to add a bunch more food coloring here, just sprinkle just it all let it go, around. Huh? Yep. On and the cloud. now our cloud is going to become saturated, and you can see it falling out from the, the shaving cream there. Oh, By the way, Jacob, what is that there? That's an overshooting top. Yep, yep. A like little all bit right, of okay. an uh, uh, <laughs> anvil to our cloud there. <laughs> So kind of the same principle with hail well, or look at that. with yep. snow. Once your cloud gets saturated enough, then it will precipitate. It precipitate. Yeah. yeah. Huh, so really um, cool. like on a summer day, you might see a cloud that's dark, but it's not raining yet. Then eventually, once it gets enough rain, enough weight, it'll allow some of that rain to fall down to the ground. You can kind of see it falling there. Yeah, and moisture. Yours is really yeah, cool. Yeah, moisture is, is the key. There. It is the key, yeah. yeah. So Look at those I little actually, streaks. Yeah, little fall streaks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. cool. Some Virgo, maybe, <laughs> yeah, some of that right, yeah. precipitation evaporating before it hits the ground. But uh, I took a couple of cool photos when I was out on a road trip in, in Wyoming of that flat bottom to our cumulonimbus clouds there and you can see on the left There's side the some animal. of that rain coming oh, down yeah. as it mm -hmm. got enough uh, uh, moisture in the clouds. So now the next experiment is snow to liquid ratio. So I collected some of our fresh snow last night, put it in a, in a container and measured how much snow there was in it beforehand, let it sit in my warm apartment and saw that snow melt into liquid and measured it before and after and you can determine your snow to liquid ratio. So here's that jar now, kind of mark the snow versus the, snow the liquid. Was. The snow was more than like four or five inches in the jar, uh, and there was a little bit of compaction when you're putting it in here. But then the water only measured to less than an inch. So wow. normally our snow to liquid ratios are about 10 inches of snow for every one inch of liquid. Right. Typically around here though, with our drier climate or some of these clipper systems, we can get 14 to one ratios. So interesting and quick experiment you can do. Have do fun it. with the kids on a snow day. Yeah, yeah maybe Friday. And that'll be like a high ratio because there's not much moisture in that. But right. yeah, Good this stuff. is great. Really okay. cool. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Jacob. Jacob. You're Those welcome. Fun yeah. experiments to try at home. <laughs>